as I'm sure uh, you've noticed, I'm extremely bullish gold. And in this video, I will share with you my three main reasons for this. Also, this video will be an educational one and I will explain some important aspects of uh, technical analysis and uh, how I look at market and analyze it. Let's start with a small recap of gold's price action. I will use, uh, use um, in this video a weekly chart because uh, as the title says, uh, I expect uh, uh, 2500 for gold this year. So we need uh, a longer time frame uh, uh, for analyzing. Uh, so in 2008, we have this strong uh, leg up. After this all time high, gold started to drop. And as we can see, it stopped exactly in this zone. A support zone. After this low, we can see that gold is in fact trading uh, for uh, almost six years in a range. But we have this rounded bottom. So a reversal uh, structure pattern. It broke above the neckline of the rounded bottom and started to rise again, a new leg up and a new uh, all time high. Now let's zoom in and see what's happening after this what happened after this all-time high. The market started to correct and we, as we can see, found support in this zone. We have this consolidation, this high and found support here. A double bottom and also a strong pin bar, reversal pin bar from here. Market started to rise, again dropped exactly in this support, again a pin bar, again a rise, and this high is exactly in the old all-time high. From this point on, on uh, things uh, are very interesting. So, after this high, we can see that gold started to drop expecting very nicely a channel and didn't draw it very well but you understand the idea and more importantly it dropped under this level of support so at this moment also me and a lot of traders expected continuation to the downside to this level of support so 1550 uh, or so or even this level of support and this is the first sign <clears throat> for a strong reversal and a new all-time high and my first reason uh, we have this in fact was a false break and usually when we have a false break the market reversed very strongly and uh, break abo breaks above uh, the previous uh, resistance level, which in our case is this all-time high. So this is my first reason why I expect a break above this level. Going for the further, we have the first leg up Let's take this from the chart. We have this first leg up. This is the beginning of the year. And a correction. And if, if we draw a Fibonacci, we can see that it corrected between 38% uh, and 50% and also in the opening of the year uh, price. Uh, 
uh, the opening of, of the year price uh, is a very important price uh, when you analyze the market because usually it offers support or resistance. As I said in some analysis, after this low, we have this bullish engulfing and this pin bar. This is a very bullish structure. A very strong leg up and my second reason for uh, uh, a new all-time high is, as we can see, after this high, it corrected, but it went into this level of support. And also we have long-tailed uh, candles on, on the weekly chart. This uh, suggests us uh, strong buying power. Last week, we have this candle. So, uh, the uh, tails from the candles is the second reason. We have very strong buying power uh, on the longer time frame. Uh, last week, we have a bullish candle. It's not a bullish engulfing, but still very bullish candle. And as we can see again, this week we have a tail, a long tail to this candle, which also uh, give us the idea uh, of strong buying power. So at this moment, this is uh, if the uh, week will close above this level, this will be my second reason for uh, for a new all-time high. Now, uh, if we break this, the most obvious level is this. But after this false break, as I said, I expect a break above this level of resistance. Uh, of course, it can drop a little bit, but in the end, the most probable scenario is to break above this level of resistance. And looking in the past, we see that after uh, such an important break, uh, the price accelerate to the upside. So from 2100, let's say, to 2500, uh, there are 4000 pips I know it's a lot and uh, I don't expect this to happen in uh, uh, two weeks, but it's not so much considering what gold uh, did in the past. So these are my reasons uh, for, uh, for a new all-time high and for uh, 2,500. And uh, that's why in my analysis, uh, recently in my analysis, I said, is very dangerous to, to try to sell. Uh, it's better to, to buy uh, dips because, uh, of course, I can be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that uh, we will have this. That's it for today's video. Bye bye.